Hi guys, I'm Dean and welcome back to another edition of The Inebriologist. So this week, this is going to be one of those sort of really strange uh, beers. Well, this is this is probably the strangest beer I think I'm going to drink yet. Just purely because of the fact. Well, I had this as a present. Uh, I think it was last Christmas time. And yeah, I tried to look up uh, this beer, and I couldn't find a lot of um, information on it anyway. So uh, yeah, so it's it's a bit strange. So I'll just I'll reveal the beer to you anyway. So this is uh, it's a beer called Shimaki or Shimake, and it's a shiitake beer uh, and it's uh, that's the little design and everything like that for it. it says highly appreciated by connoisseurs yeah it's going to be uh, interesting anyway but um, yeah so the ABV on it so it's uh, 9% ABV um, yeah so it's it's a beer uh, from from Belgium and I think it's it's a beer which is or it has been created by this a uh, company called Massilia, I think it is, or Massilia. But basically, that that's a company where they have laboratories that sort of uh, create sort of mushroom cultures and that sort of thing. So they, they grow a lot of uh, different types of, of mushrooms. So I'm guessing what they've done is just they, they've thought, you know what, we're just going to make make a beer out of um, shiitake mushrooms. So And I think that's, that's what they've kind of done but anyway i don't know if it was if, if the shiitake mushrooms were used in the boiling process or if they were used maybe i don't know maybe during the 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 fermentation or maybe just to sort of so instead of maybe like dry hopping or something like that they just added shiitake mushrooms at the end to give it a, a distinct flavor this is going to be very interesting um i just hope it doesn't have a pungent taste of mushrooms because i don't mind mushrooms but I don't know, mushrooms in a beer is just a bit strange. Or they might be the type of mushrooms where I'll start seeing things after a while. But anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so time to get into a glass and see what we got. Oh, God. Right, so yeah, I've just, just opened the um, opened the bottle and uh, that was on the inside of the bottle. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's not looking appealing anyway, so... You know, got to give these things a try anyway. So, uh, here we go. Right, so with that, a little bit of carbonation. Looking quite interesting. So it's like a three-finger head on it because uh, there was a lot of carbonation on that when it came out. So the colour is like a really nice sort of dark, rich, sort of ruby red colour. It's quite sort of sunburst, actually, looking out of the... Um, through the light like that on the bottom it kind of like works this way up so you've got like a really nice sort of yellowy orange color and then it'll go darker and darker and then red colors as well but yeah it's uh it's a really nice looking beer actually it's absolutely crystal clear as well there's no sort of sediment or anything like that might be a bit of sediment in the bottom of the bottle but um i'll have to be careful with that to make sure that not a lot of it will come out anyway looks really really nice anyway so uh time to get a bit of a bit of a smell and see what we got Smells incredibly fruity. That's uh, it's a really, really, really uh, fruity smelling beer. I was just sort of like, really, you know, sort of anticipating this type of beer to be, um, I don't know, smelling of mushrooms and that sort of thing, and a really sort of strange, earthy sort of smell to it. But um, it smells really, really fruity, which is which is really nice. It does smell like those type of like Belgian beers that are sort of fermented in a particular way and you know the type of yeast that they use as well you know which gives off that really sort of nice fruity sort of tones to it yeah fruity uh, some hops in there as well but it's not overpowering with the hops um, but you can smell as well the uh, the really sort of dense uh, malts in there as well uh, which is important for these these type of beers you know the Belgian beers because that's where the majority of their flavors comes off is, is from those sort of rich malts. Apart from that, yeah, so it's like dark fruits, fruity, sort of raisiny sort of smell to it as well. Not too dissimilar from other beers that I've had before, which smell sort of quite fruit cakey in, in a way, you know. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so um, time to dive in and uh, see what we have anyway. So, uh, cheers. Doesn't taste the mushrooms at all. Success. I was a bit sort of apprehensive about trying this. I do like mushrooms, but I don't like mushroom sort of flavoured things, if you know what I mean. If I'm going to have mushrooms, 
then I do like it to, to eat it in dishes and that sort of thing but it's the same as like with bananas I like I like eating bananas and that sort of thing but I don't like banana flavored things if if that makes any sense anyway it always sort of tastes artificial if, if you got something that or something that tastes like something else if you know what I mean you know it just it tastes like a um, tastes like a really sort of strong fruity Belgian uh, triple really yeah it's like a Belgian sort of barley wine it's quite a sort of rich flavor to it as well uh, which I, I don't mind because like these type of beers you know I do like to sort of uh, sip and you know not to drink too fast anyway so it's it's a beer to enjoy you know because it is it's a nine percent beer at the end of the day uh but yeah it's uh it's a really nice beer <coughs> my voice went high as well not too dissimilar from from any other sort of beers that i've had in belgium really yeah as i said it's fruity uh, it's quite strong but it's a beer to be sort of appreciated really you know so the score i'm going to give uh this beer this week is a 3.5 out of 5 it's still a good tasting beer uh it's quite fruity as i said and you know it's got that nice sort of like yeasty uh flavor to it uh, but it to be honest it's nothing it's nothing special really it's a beer which is probably made uh, just for uh, maybe as a gimmick, maybe or something like that, you know, because looking at the bottle where it's like a shiitake beer, uh, yeah, it just looks a little bit gimmicky. It's always worth trying anyway, you know, even if it does say, you know, that it's, uh, you know, the company's like a, a strange mushroom uh, laboratory thing anyway. So, uh, yeah, give it a whirl. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to more beer videos, and I shall see you very soon. Yekida.